Let us talk about writing today. True ease in writing comes from art, not chance, as those move easiest who have learned to dance. That's according to Alexander Pope. The spoken words perishes, the written word remains. That is why we really need to write. Writing has loss of perspective, of light and shade, just as a painting does, or music that is according to Truman Capote. So writers, like athletes, are performers. Like a runner, a writer must use different exercises to prepare for an event. Now let us try to think about activities yesterday. Let us write about what I liked, what I did like. You are going to start with these few words until finally you will be able to write a lot about what you liked and what you didn't like. You will come to realize that with those startups, you will be able to write a lot. You can also try this. Think of a word, an adjective, which will be added with the article the plus adjective plus noun then follow by verb in the present tense plus object in the third line you have the verb in the present tense of course plus a prepositional phrase a verb in the present tense plus an object and a verb in the present tense plus an object then write a noun begin with how and complete the sentence. You can also try the plus noun, verb plus object, verb plus object, verb plus object, then noun and an exclamation. These are very simple, but this will be a nice start for you to become truly interested in writing. You can also write about this. Lovers, friends, have misunderstanding, try to write something using the words below. You are only going to make use of bring, speak, eat, give, leave, land, and take. You may use these words in any place in the sentence as long as you will be able to make use of all these words. You can also try it. Write six questions about music or volcanoes, then try to exchange questions with a seatmate. The seatmate is going to answer the questions that you have written. And you will try to realize that those simple questions that you have written with the answers of your seatmates, you will be given a very nice you can also use the words good, interesting, slowly, rapidly, well said, and funny. You can also write about a lady walking, a leaf falling, a storm breaking, but you only try to follow the pattern. Adverb, 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 the plus noun, then verb, direct object, with modifiers, then write a noun. Pulitzer said, put it before them briefly so they will read it clearly, so they will appreciate it, picturesquely, so they will remember it. That is what we are going to do in order that we will be able to remember the thoughts that we have. Let us put them into writing. So you can also try this. You have like, a, noun, then subject, predicate, then question. 
You can also think of something in nature that represents happiness to you, such as a sunny day, a gentle breeze, and many others, but you begin with seeming. You can also try. What do you dream of doing when you are bored and you try to write an adventure that you would like to have? It is up to you to think of who do you like to be with as you go on an adventure. But you can also have an adventure where you alone will be moving towards any direction that you would like to be. You can also think of a hymn of a famous person that you would like to meet. You can write four questions that you would like to ask this person. You have to begin each one with interrogative pronoun. So what you need to do is you first write all the interrogative pronouns that you would like to start with. Then you just add questions. Now writing presents feelings and ideas in a fresh, vigorous way. An idea for writing can come to you at any time. So when an idea comes, write it down. Sometimes there are instances that ideas come and we try to think of that and continuously there are bright ideas. Now, if you do not write, there will be a time that you will no longer remember the thoughts that has come to your mind. So it pays to write. It will always be nice if you will be having with you a piece of paper and a pencil so that you could improve, you could rewrite, and you could always add something to what you are thinking because writing needs improvement and as you sit down and try to think about what you have written there will always be nice bright ideas that will come to your mind in order to rephrase what you have written so poetry for instance is a personal expression you make your poems suit what you want to say just as your style of clothing does a poem does not have to rhyme, though many do, because poems are made of imagery, the metaphors, similes, personification, etc. In other words, word pictures you create are extremely important. Only after careful preparation can the writer produce a final work. If you try to notice, you may have written already the poem or any writing activity that you have done. When you try to sit down and try to read again, you will still try to improve and have some uh, editing of what you have done and what you have written. And you will keep on improving what you have done. So the wonderful moment of presenting a story, a poem, and other piece is only the last in the series of steps in the act of writing. That is according to professional writers. And that is also true. If you try to notice when we write, that is really very true. A writer must spend time selecting, planning, and perfecting the work. The SPP, or the selecting, planning, and perfecting the work is called the writing process. Try writing about your inner world is made of memories from long ago. Thoughts about today and dreams about tomorrow. You go through the memories of yourself as a baby. You will try to find an object that has special meaning for you, or you try to recall a memorable event in your life. Now, these activities may provide you with a subject, because sometimes it is too difficult to think about a subject. But then if you try to think of this, that you only try to focus yourself on anything that interests you, you will find yourself accomplished 
as you write about anything that is of interest to you. That is why if you think those memories of long ago is worth writing, then go on with it. If you think what is happening today interests you too much, then write about it. And what you dream about tomorrow, you can also write about them. This will be very good things to write about. So go through the memories of yourself as a baby that was already said, and you will try to find an object that has a special meaning for you. So anything, any object perhaps that you have received since you were a child, then you try to recall a memory that is associated with that object or any memorable event in life when you had that object. So you have already a very nice subject for the writing activity. You can also have an interest inventory. One way to examine and organize your inner world is to make interest in inventory. So an interest inventory is a notebook or a journal about you, who you are, and how you feel about life. You can also have setting up your inventory. You can have a notebook. Keep that notebook for your interest inventory. You write each topic on a separate page. You try to think each topic and begin listing your thoughts and feelings about each of the topics that you have listed. Of course, it is private. You need not to share it with anyone else unless you want to. That is very important for us. When we are already very happy with what we have done, what we think about is also to share so that others may also enjoy what we have made, what we have written, what we have kept. But there are times really that we would like to keep them secret. And we do not want to share it yet. But sometimes when we find someone who is also close to us, we try to share them. So these are the suggested topics for interesting inventory like things I really like, things I really dislike, things I do well, things I wish I could do well, places I have enjoyed being, people I wish I were like, places I'd like to go, times I'd been happy, times I wanted to cry, times I'd been very angry, times I'd been very frightened, games I'd like to play, things I used to think or to, things that aren't fair, things I wish I could change, things won't worry me, what I dream of doing someday, what I admire about people, some of the ugliest things in the world, some of the most beautiful things in the world. So you try to think about the unfinished sentences below and try also to complete each one. You try to write as much as you like. Then add these ideas to your interest inventory. So you try to complete the startups. One, if I have million dollars, one question no one has ever answered me. If I were the president of this country, I like to relieve the time when I wish I never had to. So writing is a question of finding a certain rhythm and must start writing to have ideas. Now let us try to call this creative writing. Creative writing encourages children to use fully what they have within themselves. During our early times, our early days in school, we did not have the opportunity to write about all these things. That is why it is never too late if we try to make use of creative writing. So these are simple ideas, simple expressions, impressions, feelings, hopes, imagination in a language we can comment. 
or the children can command. Why do we have to write creatively? Because it reveals the unknown. It turns ideas into shapes. It brings pleasure to the world. Nobody knows what you think about. So if you try to write, then it will be a great thing. So creative writing goes for teaching and involving students in writing poetry. We try to let them express thoughts, feelings, awareness through poetry. We actively involve students in writing, but teachers must help them. That is why we as teachers, we also need to learn how to write creatively. These are some of the common poetic poems and forms. We have concrete poetry or shape poetry. You are only going to choose a subject and you are going to write words about the subject. And you are going to make use of those words, form it into the shape to form the subject. Very common, but all children enjoy creating poetry or shape poetry. And even our loved ones, because they will try to think and write and read what we have placed on the shape of the object or the subject. We also have some fun. This is a give line poem that describes feeling and describes something. So we have line one, a noun, line two, two adjectives, line three, three verbs, line four, phrase, where line one can be found, line five as a noun that is synonymous to line one. You're given noun on the first line. So sometimes is only made up of five lines. It is also nice that we learn and we teach them to write from the simplest. So we have sankan too. Meaning, the line one is made up of one word or two-syllable word, which will give the titles. Then line two, two words or four syllables that describes the title. Then line three, three words or six syllables which expresses action. So, certainly, line one will be noun. Line two describes, therefore, adjectives. Line three will be expressing action, therefore, verbs then line four four words of eight syllables expresses feeling that's an exclamation then line five one word or two syllables that is another word for the title that is synonymous to the title then we have jaman that is contains contrast comparison that shows the difference between things we have line one now or thought or subject Line two, two adjectives describing line one. Line three, three participles, meaning ending in I, N, G, or E, D words that relate to the noun in line one. So line four will be four nouns, two referring to line one and two referring to the noun in line seven. So if you try to notice, line one and seven are both nouns. And line five will be participles, I, N, G, or E, D words referring to noun in line seven. And line six, two adjectives that describe the noun in line seven. And line seven, a noun or object or thought opposite of the noun in line one. You also can create line one, two, and three. That's only made use Making use of five syllables, seven syllables, and five syllables. This is very common because Heiku had been our practice. Practiced song when we were children. So we have the three lines of 17 syllables. Then we have couplet. This is the simplest form of rhymed verse consisting of two lines with approximately the same number of syllables with rhyming end words. Usually, our lengthy poetry makes use of couplets and quatrain. You just try to add up and add and add and add until you are able to express fully what you want to say and what you want to tell. 
So you have quatrains. This is also a four-line stanza, generally with second and fourth line and word rhyming. Poetry is to music. Write eight lines of six syllables. Then think of the song where you would like to use and set that poetry to music. Eh, mga parang song adaptation. Pero i-maintain mo po ang eight, eight lines with six syllables. It is because the six syllable words will always be fitting to whatever folk song you would like to sing. Then we also have figures of speech poetry. We make use of all the figures of speech that we know. Then poetry games. This will be enjoying to the children. They would enjoy much. You have the exquisite core. You have a piece of paper folded into seven parts lengthwise. Then you try to write the headings as follows. You have adjective, adjective, noun, verb, adjective, adjective, noun. Or could be adjective, adjective, noun, adverb, adjective, adjective, noun. After the children have written all those words, following the pattern, then... What they will do is to meal around and ask a classmate to write and what is asked in each column without opening the entire paper. You are going to proceed to the next folded column when it is already filled out until done. So you try to create thoughts out of the written words in this line. What you need to do is just to edit because actually there will be uh, there will be thoughts where you can just use out of the given words. Kung minsan may mga nonsensical, but then you could also try to edit. Then the questions and answers. You try to write down five questions on your paper, then you try to exchange notebooks and answers will be given to what is asked in the question. Then it shall be read aloud. You just try to edit some of the answers and also the questions but the questions and answers will certainly become a very nice poetry you also have preferences individual or group tasks about hates likes or loves you are going to give hates ask them what they hate then all the things that they hate will be written or the, wor uh, the word hates will be given to all the group members. They are also going to write. And finally, all the hates, all the likes, and all the loves will be edited and will be made into a simple poem. You also have a communal, communal poem. You try to group the students, you try to give a subject, and allow each child to write a line about the topic. And then you are going to read the output. That is also a nice way of practicing students to write ideas that would stick also to what was started. Then collective nouns. Let the students write about all collective nouns learned. The teacher may provide a list to choose from. Then another you can write colors that you know, then you try to use the listed words in phrases or sentences. You call this color poetry. Acrostics. If you find it difficult to start anything to write, then begin with acrostics. Anyway, that is already giving you the initial letter, so it will be easier for you to write. So the first letter of the line spells the word or a sentence. So what you need to do for acrostics, you can begin with one letter word, starting with what you have written. Then make it into a phrase. Then on, on, until, until you would write perfectly if you want to have rhyming words, but you started with the acrostics. You could also have an ABC poetry. You have five lines made up of word, 
words, phrase, or clause in the sentence that begins with a letter. Meaning, your ABC poetry will be from the simplest to the most complex word series. Word, words, phrase, clause, sentence. And that will be nice for beginners. You can also have a bio poetry. This is written about oneself. Talking about the personality, the traits, and ambitions. You can also have a found poem. A found poem will be altering the text by addition or subtraction. You can make use of a song. What you need to do is to delete all the content words. You are only going to retain articles. And then it will certainly give you a very nice found poem. Now, what other things could children write about? You can also make use of five senses poem. Ask the students what color is the emotion or idea to you. Then try to imagine it has taste, then it tastes like what? It sounds like what? It smells like what? How does it look like? How does it make you feel? You can also have WH poem. Who, what, where, when, and why. Then you have the idea. You just try to add words from those WH words that you have written. You have a third set. This is a three-line poem with the first two lines rhyming. You first have to do to think of rhyming words, pair, paired words, the trains. Then you can start writing about them because the third line will not require for any rhyme. You can also have I used to, but now. You can also have a chant. You try to repeat words over and over, and this is a nice poetry for read aloud, for mastery of words, for rhapsody of words. But we have I remember poems. These are the things remembered about the person, place, or thing. You have earth poems. These are poems about saving the earth or the plants on it. You can also have digsik. Pagpapahayan ni namamatean. Kasi diba, writing creatively does not call always for English. As long as you will be able to express yourself, then you are very free to write about what you feel. Therefore, if you feel like writing in English, then do be it. If you feel like writing in Tagalog, then have it. But if you also would like to write in Bicol, because that is the best language that is closest to your heart, then you can also write about Bicol language. So this one is Tixi. Tixi Queening Daragita. Parong garobaga kamia. Kan maranihan kuna anisip ko. Ribukado na. Gayon, ano? Bicol, sana yan. Tixi Queening Binatilyo. Ipamate ko nang sinasabi totoo. Diba? Nang puso ko mapasain mo. Magsakripisyo ka muna din todo. Yan, kung may gusto. Kung habo, saka dahil na pwede. Pwede ba nalang kayo ni? Tigsik ko ining guwapong lalaki. Sayang kan sa imong pagdigde. Antuyo mo tunay ng uri. Puso ko, may sarunang kang sadiri. Ang tigsik pwede man po na pag-umaw, pag-tuyaw, pero bentot, pakonsuelo. Maski ano sana po natin. But sometimes, we also need to write creatively, making use of our reflective writing. Yan, may bibigay na tayong pattern. That is why it is also very easy for students to write if they will be given 
this one. Limbawa, sa pangyayari na nanggot ka sa kuya, o di, uh, Tagalog pala ni, sa pangyayari na nagalit ka sa akin, ay naramdaman ko, nasaktan ako. Naiisip ko, ngayon, naisip ko noon. Ayan, naisip, naisip. Bakit ba? Na -i is, naisip yan, may mali. Naisip ko, bakit ka kaya nagalit? At nararamdam, naramdaman ko na ako din nasaktan. Dapat pala ay nagpasensya ako sa iyo. At ang mali ko ay dinamdam kong lubos at ako'y lumayo. Ha? Kaya ang pagpuna, bakit analyze? Ang pagpuna ko sa sitwasyon ay dapat pala nagkaroon tayo ng sapat na pag-uusap. At sana pala ang magandang ginawa ko ay nagkaroon ako ng pagkakataon na pakinggan kita. At sakaling mangyaring muli ang dapat kong gawin pala ay bigyan kita ng pagkakataon para makapagpahayag. Yan. Ito po, make, you, make use of the Gibbs model of reflection. Sa nangyari na nag-anggot ka sa kuya, naisip ko, ano kaya nasa lako? Dahil lang namatian ko, nasupog talaga ako. Anmarahay gayon, magulay kita. Anmaraot, gaita ka tinakwanan yung pagkakatao. Ang analisasyon ko, kan pangyayari, kung kita sana nagkaulay, siguro sa mga oras na ini, nagkaintindihan na kita. Dapat pala ng kinibo ko, tinauan takanin pagkakataon para ako kaulayon mo, makapagpahayag ako, ikaman makapagpahayag man. Nganing kita, kaintindihan ng puwerte, uning maawa, maayos. Kaya kung sakali sa susunod, dapat kong gibuhon, magpasensya, dahil ka muna pagsabaton ko ni kaangot, alatunta ka, na makatapos kan sa inyong bisasabi bago man ako magsipa. O, oh, di ba magayon? Yan, saro pa. Alam mo po, nung magkasagutan tayo at iniwanan mo po ako, lubos akong nasaktan. At aking dinamdam na ikaw pala talagang nagagalit sa akin. Ang mabuti pa, mag-usap tayo kasi hindi tayo gaan nagkaintindihan. Ang masama noon, basta na lang tayo naghiwalay Sa mga pagkakataong gaya noon, ay dapat magpasensyahan tayo, mag-usap tayo, magkaliwanagan tayo. Dapat ang pinakamagandang ginawa ko ay kinausap kita ng masinsinan para narinig ko ang mga pahayag mo. At ako din, narinig ko ang mga pahayag. Narinig mo rin ang mga pahayag ko. So kung sakali, na mangyaring muli, ang gagawin ko ay hihintayin kita magsabi sa akin na mag-uusap tayo o kaya sakaling mangyaring muli, ang gagawin ko ay kakausapin kita. This could be your language for reflective writing from the Gibbs book. Dahil pa sa susunod sa paghirilingan ta po na maipresenta iyan kasi mas magayon po ito na no pagkahilingan ta. Magibo kita on the spot. Magibo ako on the spot. Magikubo ka mo on the spot. Tanga ni po magkaintindihan kita kung papaano siya gigibuhon. Saka dakol pa po, dikit pa lang iyan. Basta ang importante lang po igwanan kita ng giya kung arin man dumanan sa tuyang mga gagamiton as in pwede sunod doon. Tangani po, ang pagsurat ta, kansado yung mga articles na mga pang poetry magiging madali. Yun po, mataw po ako ng mga samples na dimension ng mga rhyming words, basta pagpapahayag lang siya, pero mahihilingin do na iwama po ni Saisay ang magsurat. Yun po, ilan po. Ini po mga samples na mga sinurat ta manungod sa mga iba-ibang estilo kan pagsurat. Kung mahihiling po nindo 
Ang ibang mga styles o estilo duman sa mga basic patterns, pinagsurusurumpay ko lang po iyan. Hanggang maisabi ko ang sakuyang gustong sabihon sa mga sinurat ko. Halimbawa, ang pagsusurat ta, baka man kitang limitado sa dapat maintindihan nila kung ano ang gusto kang sabihon. Actually, writing is that we would like to express ourselves. It is up for them to interpret what is in our minds. What we think about. Baga. Kaya, kung minsan, nagsusurat kita ng mga bagay na kita lang na nakakaintindi. Pero, ang ang ano talang kaya kaya maipahayag ta kung ano ang yaon sa isip ta and it is for also for the readers to think kung ano ang gusto tang sabihon yun ang magamit ko para sabi ko kay Edu pa when Jose Rizal wrote adios patria adorada mi ultimo adios kung baga na niya man pinag-isip na ako taga bao dahi ko maiintindihan but because it also interests me, so I also try to learn what Rizal have written. Especially kami sa Rinconada, ang mga lingwa hindi iba-iba. Kung baga, ang tataramo ng mga words ni are certainly different. That is why I also try to write about things na papag-isipon ko man ang nagbabasa. O, halimbawa ini, ano ba yan ini? Abang itom, hareka. Iniabang na ago. Medyo matarom. Ay, matagason. Daika, pag inilamoson, medyo pa init-initon. Sa imong himas-himason, inimadaling palumbukod. Matagason? Naging malumbukon? Makakapikon? Kung paghurup-hurupon? Garum may pagkautikon. Rubaringani. An maitom na grabi. Baringani, an may itong nagrabi, baka ikaan magsabi, dahi malingawan ng namit kay ni. Ilubgob, dawahal na slabilabi, parong patis tunay na sayo ni ni, parong ang minasabi, timpladong pinakapuerte, mayong sangkap, tunay ang siramgaro magic sarap, mata, dawa pirong, malaway ka maski sa parong, ano ini? Matagas minalumhok, malumhok garumay tugas. Ang tugas mahal nas! Pari ka sa tagas-tugas, na tunay na mahal nas. Pag sige-sige ang himas, niya hihiling mo ang luwas. Isintik minalagatik. Ihulog minalagatong. Tiltigon, iduon, pagsuhayon, ang taha, pution. Tunay na mapution. Talagang manatukon, lalo na kung sa imong surusulduton, ang garugata maliputokon. Luhay-luhay na iduon, tusukon pa irarumon, hanggang ang puti ubuson paluwason, sa kagamitan managumon. Namit ang magsasabi, anong ibu ini? Malingawan? Nungka, da ihahanapon al daw banggi. Sa gabos na sinabi, Iniisip mo lamang anong klase ini? Ah, bikol sa nandakol ka ini. Tunay na masiram, manatok, masiram. Pili lang tahon, dulsihon, kasayon. Yan. Ini sarapan. Nanay, pagreserba, kusog, turog, pati kwarta, baka udmakunsa, di na mapagmata. Dakol na arog mo. Sobra sa sakripisyo. Isinok ko sa diring pangangaipo sa pagsunod-sunod kin mga kapriso. Nabayad na baga. Ginibo ko mga udana. Kaya ika magingua para di na umarog pa. Nanay pakaisipa. Agumudugay na sigurado miganap pa lugar mo babaliwan na. Kaya nguwani si Muna. Buway mo pakaraya mag-enjoy at magmuya-muya, naning magin kontentoy ka, regalo na sa diri. Mag-agi-agi, dawa pa magplete, diri mag-ulat kinswerte, 
dahil ang matuod ang buhay puwerte. Bakalo na gusto kaunon na mga kaya mo. Umiba sa mga kakontempor anyo, nga di magbasol kung buhay bawion tani mo. Ikasana, ika nagdaran in dakulang pag-asa, kan mahiling taka inisip ko na ikana, ika ang nagtao, pag-asa sa kapareho ko, na iguanin mga nagini ko, nung ka na isurat sa libro, ika ang matao, panahon sa mga tao, mga inspirasyon mo, mababasa sa binog ng globo. Salamat sa imo sa kong iniidulo, tawong may pagkabisto sa ginibuhan kapwa mo. Ang Diyos babatayan ka, gigibuhon mo, kadakulon pa, gibo mo, madanay sa kutba, buhay mo, pangadji ko, humalabak pa. Para sa iyo, sa ating anibersaryo, para sa iyo, mahal ko sa ating anibersaryo. Mula sa kaibutura ng puso ko, sinasabi ko'y totoong-totoo. Minahal kita ng todo, sana paniwalaan. Lahat ay ginawa at tiniis ko, para lang sa iyo ang lahat ng ito. Kahit sa mga pagkakataong alam mo, na tao rin ako may tuwa, lungkot at puot. Sana'y dilumipas ang panahon. Sabay na tayo. Sabay sana tayo ng pagkakataon. Di rin sana mapagod ang puso ko sa iyo tulad ng dati. Kahit ano, paano, basta tayo. Sana, katulad ng tubig sa karagatan, maging bagyuman ay di kayang itaboy kung saan. Di rin sana mag ang daan para tuloy pa rin ang pagmamahal na walang hanggan. Tangin sa iyo inaalay, lahat man ay sinuway. Sana'y di mawala isa man sa atin habang buhay. Sana maunawaan ang lahat ng ito. Mga ginagawa ay para sa inyo. Kung inaakala nyo mahigpit ako, patawad at iyan ang paraan ko. Masaya ako para sa inyo. Maging kapalit man ay aking sakripisyo. Basta ang alam ko, Mahal ko kayo. Higit sa buhay ko, sundin niyo ang payo ko. Mahirap man ang buhay sa mundo kung kayo ay magpapakatuto. Ako'y sigurado, kaya niyo ang lahat ng gulo, maging anuman ito kung sakali sa malayo ako. Alalahanin niyo, aking mga sakritisyo, hanggat ako'y, hangad ko'y asenso, inyong asenso. At magandang buhay. Kung sakali. Kung sakali kaya. Kung sakali kaya mo. Kasakitan tiusun mo. Dahil mas kinapauno. Pangadji ang mga salbaran mo. Kung sakali igin ko mangyari ka mo. Sa buhay mo mabot pinakaabo mo. Inanakit lingawan. Dahil ni Minsan, diri ka pinabayaan. Ginibong mo kanyayaan. Nanay mo, puro ka utangan. Sinta buoda na mo tangan. Pirit sanay kang tinatawan. Dahil sabi mo kaipuan, nguan, puro nakapuokan. Uda na maiyanan. Iniisip kaligtasan. Kanimong kailangan. Kung sakali man, inga-inga mo lingawan. Inanakit di kaipuan. Ikaigin o san nabulawan. Pasensya kung minsan kang ingin mo naging tugasan, nakigtagasan, agto, agko kadahilanan dahil ika naging sungkaila. Dahi na lugi na pierdi. Naisip ni Padi magtrabaho sa Saudi. Dahi na lugi na pierdi. Naisip ni Padi magtrabaho sa Saudi. Nganing, pagdarakula ni the baby, iguana nin sinasabi. Binayaan si Madi, nagnegosyo man daasabi. Pagduman, panigde, sa pagbaba ka sakali. Al daw bulan, uminagi, sige man padarani padi. Pirming, dahil ang isip iyo ini, sustineran ang family.
may kulang da apirmi. Ang sabi ni Madi, magduro diskarte. Kaya ang naisip ka ini, daiman nalingaw si Padi. May tawag si apirmi. Iba ang sinasabi, maluya na ang trabaho digdi. Nagduda si Madi. Kaya, kan may uminuli katrabaho sa Saudi kinaulay niya ini. Malinaw ang sinabi, may iba si Padi. Diversyon da sabi, ibahan sa istaran, tatipid, ini ang diskarte. Grabe ang hibi ni Madi. Dahi niya maako, ini. Ngunyan, paniya ginibo ini. Dakula na ang pangangaipo mi. Dakula ang kapamasulan ni Madi. Maray pa kaniya on siya digdi. Igwa minsan ning karne pati na sira na may ali. Ngunyan, dahi man nalugi pero dakula ang pierde. Say mo idolo, dahi ka kaya mauyang sa mga gibukon. Sa huna-huna ko, ikauripon nin mga osipon. Naday mo aram kung sa'in mapuon. Ang takot ko iyoan, dahi maintindihan kung surat ko iyo iyan, gibuhon mo pagtsyagaan. Dahi mo man naiintindihan mga sinasabi paano na iyan, dikta iyan sa kuyang daghan, nagahali sa kuyang kapagalan. Kung sakali ka man mayong dudumanan, sinurat ko hilinga man, baka minsan may mako ako man. Para kanimo maestro, magayon na regalo o da kami maitataw. Pero mas kinapauno ang ko kami ginibo para masabutan mo, pagkabot na o da ka pariyo. Simpli man na pagbuhay-buhay ta, kung maninikin pataratara, mga bagay-bagay, magin usip-usipan ta, nagtataong ginawa sa mga pag-irimo. Salamat ka ni mo sa ngamin na pag-atol, pagkaon, gamit, maski ano pa, daradara mo basta sa ikararayta, daway kapagal na, sige sana. Maestro, sinsiro kami kapag umaw, diri ka malingaw, dakul kaming nagtatanaw sa mga inagiyan mo sa paglakaw. Onra ka ngamin mawot mo, bulsa mo na sa sakripisyo, mangyari sa naamisyon mo, biyayang dakul mapapasay. Ini po sunod, lady is an acrostic. This was about this was about Mam Edita Lodado. All the beginning letters were given already, so what we need to do is just to add to the beginning letters. So energetically works for a special program in the arts, nearly treats everyone at heart, inspiringly talks about the instruction. Thus, we shall remain as we go on. Honestly and humbly admired in the career as mentor, follower, and leader. Artistic, amiable, admirable lady. Laughter shared knows no boundaries. Overflowing with ideas and fanfares. Dedication to service your happiness. Affectionately admired of deeds and caress. Do remember our memories on this day. We say thank you for making us worry free. More power and God bless. Then we have your books. Oh, my book, so dear, take away my fear. When I read a word, I can see the world. In silence I hear, darkness made so clear. Highs and depths I reached, somehow makes me rich. I want your company, I am surely. I learn a lot, surely. I am never lonely, I am molded, surely. Ilan lang yan po sa mga examples natin. But when we try to see each other, we will try to have actual writing activity so that we will be able to enjoy. We shall be writing acrostics about our names, about our respective, respected mentors, about our loved ones, about our activity, about anything else, as long as we will be able to write. We encourage everyone to love writing. Kahit ano po yan, basta makapagsulat tayo. It is only the writer who can say that accomplished na ako kasi nakapagsulat ako. It pays to write. Kala nyo, nakakatuwa kasi natapos na yung panahon, nare-refresh ka. Tapos, yun ba, uh, few words, more stories, 
more thoughts on the things of poetry and creative writing activities. Okay, po? Thank you very much. This is always Mom GB who loves your company. Thank you very much for watching.